Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-89 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hebler. So, statement is determine the required minimum thickness T of the member AB and edge distance B of the frame if P is 9 kips and the factor of safety against failure is 2. The wood has a normal failure stress. 6 ksi and shear failure stress of 1.5 ksi so you can see this is the member a b and the thickness is not known we have to find this thickness and this b distance the load acting or it or this frame is p which is 9 kips um, the normal ferial stress is 6 ksi and shear failure stress is 1.5 ksi so you have to determine this thickness T and this B of the frame. So let's start with the solution. So first we will find internal loading. So let me write it first. The normal force. The normal force develop in member EB develop in member AB can be determined by considering the equilibrium at joint a so what we will do is that we will take this joint a and we will draw the free body diagram and we will find the force a b so let me take this this is let member a b and this is member a c here Okay, so this is member AC and this is member AB. This is B, this is your point A and this is your point C. At A we have vertical load of P which is given as 9 kips. So 9 kip. So when you cut it section B, so you will be having a reaction force acting on section ab let this force is fab and when you cut it you will be having a normal force or uh, normal axial force which will be equal to fac now if i take a horizontal line from this so it will be let this will be your x axis and this will be your vertical will be your y axis and you can see here this makes an angle of 30 degree so again if i draw horizontal line so this will be also 30 degrees so it's called alternate angle so this angle will be 30 degree here this angle is also 30 degree now if i take the center line of this member and this member so we will apply equation of equilibrium in order to find the FAB and FAC. So this FAB will have two components. This FAB will be have two components. One along X axis and other along Y axis. Clear? So we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along X direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see this force will have one component. This FAB is like this. So it will have one component this and other. So horizontal component will be equal to FAB cos of 30 degree. And since it is toward positive side, so I will write it FAB cos of 30 degree. And same, same is the case. This FAC will have two component. One is this one. Another one is this one. And this component is FAC cos of 30 degree and it is toward negative direction so I will write minus 
F A C cos of 30 degree and their sum must be equal to 0. So it means that F A B cos of 30 degree is equal to F A C cos of 30 degree. So cos of 30 cos of 30 will cancel each other. So F A B will become equal to F A C. Okay. Now we will apply another equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and what force is taken as positive. So you can see one force which is downward is minus nine. So I will write minus nine. This component, the vertical component of this force which was FAB sine of FAB sine of 30 degree is upward and similarly FAC sine of 30 degree is also upward. Their sum must be equal to 0. So plus FAB sine of 30 degree plus FAC sine of 30 degree is equal to 0. Now you can see FAC is equal to FAB. So I will replace this FAC with FAB. So it will be FAB sine of 30 degree plus FAB sine of 30 degree minus 9. So 2 times FAB sine of 30 degree is equal to 9 and when you divide it, FAB will be equal to 9 divided by 2 sine of 30 degree. So you will get FAB will be equal to 9 kip. Clear? So let me write it. FAB is equal to FAC is equal to 9 kip. Now we have this force in member AB and AC. So what we are going to do is that we will, you can see that this member is over here. So due to this force, this force FAB, it will be having two components, one along X axis, Y axis and another along X axis. So this force will cause the sharing in this region in this region so we'll find that so let me draw its free body diagram so i will write uh, if i take that portion or if i take the member a b and joint b using joint b of member a b so let this is this is joint b clear so you can see you will be having this f a b in this direction f a b will be like this this is f a b so it will be having two component one is this one and other one is this one clear this is angle 30 degree so this component will be equal to FAB cos of 30 degree and this component will be FAB sine of 30 degree. So we will find this FAB cos 30. So what I am going to say is that let this is the member AB. Clear? And this was the joint like this. This is the member. So force in this member was 9 kip. 9 kip and it will having two components this is 30 degree clear and this is your point b so at point b you can check it that it will have a reaction force in horizontal as well as in vertical direction so i will write this horizontal component will be fb x and the vertical component will be F B Y. Now what we are going to do is that 
we will find this fbx and fby by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see we will need only this horizontal reaction force because it is creating shear at this point clear at this point so we'll find this by using equation of equilibrium which i have written so fb x minus the horizontal component of this which is 9 cos of 30 degree so i will write it minus 9 cos of 30 degree is equal to 0 so from here fb x component will be equal to 7.794 7 now this horizontal force is actually you can see it will exert by this member over here as a result this member this force horizontal force will produce shear in this area so if i draw a free body diagram of uh, that portion so let this is the portion where you have a net force of fbx fbx is applied and due to that we have a shear v which is taken as v a dash a what is a dash a so let me show you that if you take this line this line so this is the plane a a where you cut it and we have drawn the free body diagram over here okay so fbx is 7.794 kips so by using equation of equilibrium sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is positive so vaa minus 7.794 is equal to zero so vaa means shear force horizontal shear force will be also equal to 7.794 kip now you have both this normal force in member AB and shear force. So what we are going to do is that we will find the allowable stresses. So let me write it allowable normal stress and shear stress. How we will find that we have been given this normal failure stress and shear stress we also know the factor of safety so using these values we will first calculate allowable sharing stress so allowable uh, or allowable normal stress so allowable normal stress is equal to failure stress divided by factor of safety clear so failure stress is 6 and factor of safety is 2 so it means that allowable normal stress is 3 ksi and same is allowable shear stress is equal to failing shear stress divided by factor of safety so failing sharing stress is 1.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.75 ksi so now we will use these two to find the uh, force in a b and we will find the, the distance b so first we will find we know that allowable normal stress is in member AB is FAB divided by area of AB that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 3 and FAB is 9 KSI so I will write it 9 into 10 to the power 3 now what is area of AB so you can see the thickness is this one which is not known and the weight is 3 so it's actually t by 3 inch so we will use this area is 3 multiplied by t clear so from here you will get t will be equal to 9 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 1 inch 
so this is the answer of our first part now we will find this tie allowable is given as VAA divided by area of AA so let me show you you can see here shear stress is VAA and the area is this uh, B clear and the area is B multiply by this thickness you can see this is 3 sorry this is so this is the length B and this is the width 3 inch and this will be the sharing area so it will be 3B so put the values V is VAA is uh, 7.794 divided by 3B is equal to share allowable sharing stress which is 0 0.75 into 10 to the power 3 so what we will get is that B is equal to 7.794 and there is 10 to the power 3 because K is bound uh, KIP so 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 0 0.75 into 10 to the power 3 so what you will get is B is equal to 3.46 inch so that is the answer of our second part so I will conclude that this thickness this thickness T is equal to 1 inch and this B is equal to 3.46 inch which is the answer of this question and that was all about this problem 1-89 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me